Electricity has revolutionized our world. From light bulbs to refrigerators, the internet, and now the growing number of electric vehicles on the road, society has increasingly relied on electricity, but it has come at a major cost to our planet. Today, our electric grid is mainly powered by old, outdated, and inefficient power plants that pollute the environment. While there's been a major push towards clean, renewable electricity, only about 20% of our grid is powered by these sources today. As we electrify more and more parts of our lives, the toll on the grid is only going to get worse. Some cities are already facing rolling blackouts in order to protect the grid. A new solution is needed, one where we move away from the old power plants toward a new dawn of distributed power generation. The time is now for a new way of producing electricity. Introducing the Carnot Generator, a groundbreaking scalable system named after the Carnot cycle, which is the most efficient way to convert heat into work. Its game-changing architecture is capable of operating on numerous clean and renewable fuels and can create electricity at an efficiency that rivals some of today's modern power plants. With emissions benefits at the core of its design, the Carnot Generator can be deployed in areas where power plants historically couldn't, powering vehicles, EV chargers, schools, hospitals, commercial buildings, and even our homes. Imagine being able to produce your own clean electricity right outside your house at a cost significantly less than grid electricity, shifting to the Carnot generator as your primary power source and only utilizing the grid as your backup power supply. The Carnot generator allows us to rethink where electricity can be made. The question is, why hasn't this been done before? Because the technology didn't exist until now. Much like electric vehicles weren't possible until battery technology advanced, the Carnot generator wasn't possible without the breakthrough of 3D printing or additive manufacturing. Unlike traditional subtractive manufacturing, which removes material, additive manufacturing uses computer-aided design software to precisely join material layer upon layer. This allows for production of complex parts that couldn't have been made before, while offering simplified fabrication and reduced waste. The Carnot generator is built on years of development in aerospace engineering, heat transfer, and additive manufacturing technology. Its inherent design is efficient, scalable, and low maintenance. When it comes to efficiency, the Carnot generator is expected to deliver nearly a 60% thermal efficiency while also offering exceptional power density. With a modular and scalable design, the Carnot system can be customized to meet specific power needs, enough to power anything from an EV charger to an entire hospital. With only one moving part per shaft and no oil or other lubricants, the Carnot generator requires minimal maintenance and produces very little noise or vibration. The heart of the solution lies in emissions reduction. By leveraging Hylion's proprietary flameless oxidation reactor technology, the Carnot generator can seamlessly run on over 20 fuels, including hydrogen, natural gas, propane, gasoline, and even fuels like biodiesel or jet fuel and is able to offer over a 90% reduction in NOx emissions as compared to traditional internal combustion engines. When running on fuels like hydrogen and ammonia, the Carnot generator will produce zero carbon emissions. All these benefits make the Carnot system not only a perfect power source for the grid, but also for vehicles like Class 8 commercial trucks, where efficiency, maintenance, and emissions are key factors in successful fleet operations. Century after century, technology breakthroughs have revolutionized almost every industry. And now is the time to transform electricity generation. Efficient, scalable, and environmentally sustainable, Carnot technology has limitless potential to power the world and meet our collective energy needs for generations to come.